Sci-fi horror is a popular genre in movies and TV these days, but it's also somewhat concerning. For one thing, humans are afraid of the unknown, which is something that this genre underscores. Scientists are compelled to explore it at all costs, though. Modern inventions have arisen from some of the byproducts of our race to space, such as baby formula and smartphones. Some inventions were not the result of NASA, but didn't suffer as a result. For example, Velcro and Tang weren't created by NASA even though they became popular at one point in time. But as more information becomes available, the more it starts to make sense why people are afraid of what's beyond Earth. These 10 terrifying facts about our solar system, for instance, may change the way you think about Mars and Venus forever. 10. Space Dinosaurs on the Moon There hasn't been a landing on the moon since 1972. Luckily, we have equipment like NASA's Lunar Impact Monitoring Telescope and NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The orbiter is still circling the moon, but there is also a telescope which monitors any incoming objects and measures lunar rovers. Pieces of actual dinosaur bones were found in meteors that left Earth long ago. These bones had been perfectly preserved after flying far away to create a meteor shower on the moon's atmosphereless surface. Many undiscovered fossils remain buried deep in the Earth, tantalizing us with how much we don't know about the history of our planet. We were also surprised to find evidence of dinosaurs on the moon, so it's not out of the question that there could be live ones somewhere waiting to be found. 9. Pluto isn't a planet, but if it was, we apologize if this is where you get the conclusion to the long-lasting debate on whether Pluto was a planet. We also apologize that your education system has let you down because there's more in our solar system than just Earth. It is unclear as to whether these objects were always considered as dwarf planets or if they were mistakenly given the status. In any case, my opinion is they should not be considered as true dwarfs. According to scientists, as many as 200 dwarf planets may be present in the Kuiper belt, and more than 10,000 could be in the region beyond. Larger moons like Neptune's Triton are believed to be captured dwarfs, which were too large to revolt. If we don't know about every single potential dwarf planet out there, what else might we not know? 8. Earth isn't the only active planet. One of the most important features to shape our planet, literally, is Earth's ever-shifting tectonic plates. These activities began approximately 3.3 to 3.5 billion years ago and gave rise to mountains, islands, volcanoes, etc. This process is among many that have shaped what our world looks like today. Seems like there's nothing exciting around our solar system. We have our rocky planets between the sun and us and then some huge swirling gas giants behind us that don't really offer much. Newly published data from the Mercury surface, space environment, geochemistry and ranging. Messenger. Spacecraft revealed that Mercury is shrinking thanks to these same tectonic processes. In 2016, this was not yet known. New planets are forming even today, 4.6 billion years after the formation of our solar system. We live in a small fraction of our galactic neighborhood that has just begun to form. Don't let yourself fall into the trap of thinking it's all static and unchanging. New things are happening every day. If we were to discover that Mercury was shrinking too, imagine the panic of finding out some Bay Earth is shrinking as well. 7. Walking on air isn't all it's cracked up to be. Each of us has dreams of becoming an astronaut when we were kids, but as we get older, the realization that you need to pay off student loans and enter a 9-5 office job soon sinks in and chases away those dreams. However, thanks to a social media duet between NASA and social media, we have a closer look into the lives of our fine spacemen and women more than ever before. They're happy to share some things like floating through their cabins or seeing tears in space too. Zero gravity has been a difficult adjustment for astronauts who eventually can't use their feet anymore. They'll all have problems with them when they return to Earth. Without having to go anywhere, the feet of runners tend to get softer and slower. 
They also wear their socks for multiple days in a row to save space in cluttered packing compartments. And if they are not careful with removal, dead foot skin can fly away in the air. This creates a macabre chaotic scene of floating foot skin. 6. Space isn't as far away as it may seem. We're not talking about how close we are technologically to space flights. Instead, we're discussing the fact that there's barely any air in between us and space, known as the Kármán line. It's as simple as getting in your car and driving at a new angle. It would take you just over an hour to space, which is approximately 60 miles away from where you're standing right now. Imagine that being your morning commute, the current record holder for highest space jump is Felix Baumgartner, sponsored by Red Bull and GoPro, who ascended 24 miles in a stratospheric balloon and leapt from it. He made the ascent faster than 90 minutes. His free fall was only 3 minutes and 48 seconds after he deployed his parachute. 5. Planet 9 Gazing at the night sky is beautiful, but it's not the easiest when you have to do a ton of math. A lot of discoveries are made when you crunch all the numbers and find an anomaly. The scary part is that scientists need to figure out what it signifies before they can make any conclusions. Scientists Konstantin Batigin and Mike Brown from Caltech believe that Planet 9 may exist to explain the movements of some objects in the Kuiper Belt. In 2019 a theory surfaced, suggesting that Planet 9 could actually be a black hole. Previous research had suggested that Planet 9 was Neptune-sized and orbited the Sun after taking around 15,000 Earth years to do so. Some scientists believe these phenomena were formed in the very early stages of the universe, when pockets of denser material collapsed in on themselves. Have you ever seen a shooting star in the night sky before? Well, this was a spectacular event. This comet has been captured by our Sun's gravity and is quite small only 3.5 inches across. Yet it is still mighty. And even worse, it is very close to Earth right now, closer than any other comet in history. 4. There's nothing to stop the Great Red Spot and other space storms. Heavy winds and torrential rains are nothing to trifle with. Fortunately, we never have to do so. The worst hurricanes on Earth are harmless compared to the Great Red Spot. Astronomers have been able to study the storm for over 300 years, and the evidence suggests that you could fit around two or three Earths inside. The eye of the storm measures around 1.4 miles in diameter with winds blowing up to 270 miles per hour, on average. However, closer to its oval-shaped edges, the winds can get up to 425 miles per hour. Keep in mind that the strongest wind speed detected on Earth are just over 200 miles per hour, a handful of times. It engulfed three other storms in 2000, turning blood red color. Saturn's six-sided storm has also been rotating for possibly hundreds of years. It's not clear what makes the phenomenon stay in this shape for such a long time. One thing we can be sure of though is if we had the chance to travel between planets, we would want to stay as far away from it as possible. 3. Hell on Earth's neighbor. Looks like there's no love to be found on Venus either. Out of the three deaths, we can't imagine the best one. The crushing atmosphere or the searing heat. But at least with Venus, we don't have to make that decision. The temperature of Venus is around 860 degrees Fahrenheit and it rains sulfuric acid. What's scary about this death planet is taking a good long looks and seeing it as the potential warning it is. Venus was once habitable, but due to runaway greenhouse effects, Venus got where it is today. That may sound familiar to you, since we are on that rally path too. Compared to Earth's polar caps melting, it seems like Venus sees boiling away entirely as a small problem. 2. The solar system is over the hill. Life can seem like a series of disjointed events or moments that happen for only a brief period. However, every single instance is just as important as the last and makes up who we are, not just in one sense, but also in terms of our life and what we do. We may die sooner than expected, but we do so with our lives enriched and full. 
It's been hypothesized that the Big Bang occurred 13.8 billion years ago, plus or minus 40 million years ago. It was also estimated that our solar system would be about 4.6 billion years old. And scientists think we've only got about 5 billion more years left on Earth. That's it. With the time it has taken to develop intelligent life on Earth, humankind might not get the chance to do so again, should our life on this planet be wiped out. If our descendants continue for this long, they better find a new home because the Earth is running out of space and resources. 1. And when we go, we'll be eaten by our own sun. The sun is the only star in our solar system. We have found that it gives off plenty of light energy. Its core will shrink when its hydrogen runs out, while its outer layers are expected to shed into space too. This means that the Earth and the solar system will see tremendous change as this growth continues. As it progresses, radiation and heat from it will completely destroy all life on Earth. It will even cause everything in the solar system to be incinerated. Once the sun has cooled into a white dwarf, the solar system will become a cold, quiet, dead place. It'll be just like all of the other lifeless places in our universe. The solar system is a vast and beautiful place that we still know very little about. With all the facts that we've learned over the years about the planets and moons in our solar system, it can be easy to feel like we know it all. But there are many terrifying facts of our solar system that make it seem like an entirely different world.